for the game. It's a red skin. to my channel it's your girl binky bianca with some more blog talk and today we're going to be talking about a video that i saw on the grand wizard chat guys uh <laughs> grandy's page on instagram he's actually like um one of academics uh homeboys or whatever so i really enjoy his instagram because it's really funny and he just posts a lot of funny um threads on his instagram about a subject so this particular time, he posted a video of a young lady. It looked like she was arguing with her boyfriend, maybe, about him paying for her and her friends um, at her birthday dinner. So take a look at that. Like, you really just should have paid for all of our food. For one, I'm not paying for everybody's you food. It's your birthday, cool, but friends. I'm not doing that. It's 18. Why, why don't you got to pay for all y'all food, though? You brought 18 friends. I'm finna leave you. You been here with them or you coming with me? Nobody likes a broke nigga. Are you? Whoa, bro! Now, why um the homeboy that was recording the video sounded so hurt? It's like she hit him right in his chest when she called uh his friend broke. But I agree with him. But before we get into my commentary about the situation, let's take a look at what uh former NBA player Steven Jackson has to say about it. One woman saying that her baby daddy to buy all her kids some food. Now another chick got 18, 18 women at dinner and said the dude broke because he don't pay for all their food. Y'all need to get y'all a job. Get y'all some money. There's too many women out here getting money. All y'all broke women that just pay the paper y'all and take care of y'all. Y'all days numbered. Ain't no twat that good. Y'all think y'all twat that good? It ain't. Trust me, it ain't. Please get off your ass. Go get your own. Stop waiting for a to do something for you. Y'all expecting too much. We want, we want women with money now. We want women that can buy us something. Not the ones with their hand out. So wrap it. Right, and there you have it, uh, Stephen Jackson's take on the situation. Uh, now, let me say this. Uh, when I watched that video, you know, of the young lady talking to her dude or whatever, the first thing I thought was, wow, she just looks like a spoiled brat. You know, the way she was, like, bouncing, like, looked like she was about to throw a fit, like a two-year-old, you know, um, going through terrible twos. Um, because she wasn't getting her way and she was whining about, you know, but you're going to make me look away in front of my friends. What kind of friends do you have <laughs> where your friends believe that your dude should be paying for all of their meals? Like if it is a large group like that, you really think a dude in your age range is supposed to be paying for all of y'all's meals? What kind of friends do you have if they even look at you away and think, gosh, you would a broke dude like that that can't pay for all of us? Evaluate your friends, young lady. That's what I need to say to you. Stop letting social media dictate what's in and what's cool and how people should move. Because that's what I think is um, the problem here. I think watching Instagram and TikTok and all this stuff and seeing celebrities move the way they move, y'all be tricking yourselves into thinking that you're on the same level financially and you're not. You know, and your man isn't. Like, really. And to insult him and act like he's, you know, something's wrong with him because he can't pay for all of y'all. People need to understand that um, being humble is a thing and you need to try that sometimes. Now, it's quite possible that some of her friends may, may have been like, you know, couldn't really afford or They were really, really, really tight on money and it would have helped them if he could have um, picked up their tab as well. But there's a way to ask for that. You could pull him to the side. You could text him. Hey, you know, Crystal and Tasha, they, you know, they're a little tight. Can you, um, you know, can you pay for their meals and tonight and we'll pay you back or whatever. They can't pay you back, but, you know, I really appreciate it and we'll figure it out. You know, and I'm pretty sure if he had it, um, he would 
gladly have picked their their um, checks up as well. Or if he didn't have it, he would have said, I can't, you know, but I wish I could. That doesn't make him broke or something wrong with him because he only paid for himself and you. Come on, y'all. Like, we got to do better than this. Y'all are living in a fantasy world and y'all need to wake up. The real world is calling, okay? We are not in the meta world yet, okay? So when we go out to eat, we got to eat with our real uh, finances from our real paychecks, from our real jobs or side hustles or whatever it is, that, how you get paid. So cut it out. Now, as far as um, Steven Jackson, um, you know, it was interesting in his video how he was saying that um, men are tired of, you know, women with their hands out and, <clears throat> excuse me, and they, they want women with money and this, that, and the third. I can understand that. Uh, to a certain degree, I mean, he is a former NBA player, so I can only imagine the type of women that he's run across. I don't know, you know, I can only imagine. But in any case, I will say this, um, you know, my experience is this. I've always taken care of myself financially. I've never needed anything from, from, from any man or woman, anybody. Um, and my experience is honestly, and I don't carry myself with the air of, I got it like that. I'm this, I'm that. I'm, I don't carry myself like that. You know, I just take care of myself. I always live somewhere nice. I always live somewhere clean. You know, I've always had, you know, a nice car or whatever, but that's about it. Like I don't dress designer. I don't have designer bags and shoes or none of that stuff. And I don't throw no money in nobody's face. But I've never really had a dude, you know, that was like, you know what, you've been there for me or you've, you've been so good to me or you've never asked me for nothing. Let me just bless you. Let me just hit you off, baby girl, with some cash, you know, <laughs> let me just do, you know, um, I, except for I will say, let me stop my last relationship um, that did happen uh, quite a quite a few times. But, you know, other than that, it's not like a casual thing that just was happening with dudes that I dated. You know, I always make the joke to people that men treat me the way the government treats me, you know, which is you don't have children, you make good money, you're not lazy, and you don't have no excuses for why you're not making money. So I'm not gonna help you, you know, and that's how the government is. If you don't have kids, <laughs> and if you make decent money, the government don't have nothing for you. You know, not even a pat on the head for just being an adult and take care of yourself without their help. Um, and a lot of men, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a psychological thing, are like that. You know, like they'll, I've watched it. Like they will bend over backwards and find a reason to, to just send you money through Cash App and send, you know, uh, send you money through Western Union or put it in your hand or do whatever for women that just seem destitute, that seem pitiful, that seem like they just can't get their life together, just seem like they need help and they need, need, need. A lot of men will just work out for that. You know what I'm saying? Whether they're getting um, sex or not. So I don't know. I've never, you know, really dwelled too much on it because I mean, if that's not my life then I don't really want to use anybody for any money and I don't need any, but um, it's just interesting that Steven was saying that about uh, they want women with money that can do things for them now. I mean, we'll see if that's true. We'll definitely see. <laughs> we'll definitely see if, if that uh, is true. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever know. But I just think the, the takeaway from this video is that we need to be realistic about our partners and about what they're able to financially do and also about them as a person if they're doing things for you and they're treating you nicely don't expect them to have unrealistic uh, financial capabilities it's not realistic for someone in that age group to be able to um, buy dinner for all of those people it's just not realistic and to try to um, play on his worth as a young man tacky and tasteless you know let's do better Okay, but y'all let me know what you think. Uh, do you think that he should have paid for everybody's dinner and, and I'm just tripping? Or do you think that the young lady needs to, to chill? Let me know um, if you also agree with Steven Jackson. 
And if you a dude and you got it like that, you know, how do you treat your women and their friends? Let me know in the comments, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.